In Senegal, residents defied a ban on protests and are demonstrating ahead of an expected court ruling on whether President Abdoulaye Wad will be permitted to run for a third term. The West African country will hold presidential elections next month, and in the lead-up to the vote, human rights and civil society groups have condemned what they call a government crackdown on opposition leaders. The showdown about who will be on the ballot is the latest in the election process. For more, we go to FSRN reporter Alpha Jallo, who is in Dakar. He joins us by cell phone. Alpha, good to have you on. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. You are there on the streets in Dakar. Describe the scene at the demonstrations. Well, um, this is a very big demonstration. It's a demonstration which has been called by the opposition and the civil society group, uh, which has just come under the umbrella of uh, June 23rd movement. They have called the demonstration, and the demonstration is not only taking place in Dakar, it is currently taking place uh, across the country in all major towns in Senegal. And they are saying that they are demonstrating because they want to make sure that uh, the constitutional court will not, I mean, uh, validate President Ward that, um, I mean, candidacy. Now, as I understand it, there is a government ban on these protests. Where does that stand now? It didn't hold any water because I, uh, the Minister of the Interior, Usman Gom, um, came out uh, on air saying that uh, demonstrations are banned. But what we saw today that, you know, people are still here in the, in the, in, in, in the obelisk place. Just imagine that where they have even prayed Friday prayers, and I'm sure they are going to pray here the sunset prayers as well, because their leader, Ali Utin, said that they are not going to move, and then they are only waiting. Uh, if the constitutional court validates President Ablai Wad, that means Senegal is sitting on a time bomb, that they are going to go out in the street and they are calling everybody to protest so that, you know, they will block this start um, bit, uh, for President Wad. As you describe it, the protesters there have said that they will stay on the street until this decision comes from the court. The court is not only deciding on whether President Wad can run for a third term, but there are also other candidates that the court is deciding on. And if they can run, who are these other candidates that they're talking about? Yes, uh, the court is not looking at President Watt's candidacy. Uh, there is almost 20 presidential hopefuls who have already submitted their papers. So the constitutional court today, they have a lot of work to do. And people think that maybe by midnight they will come out an announcement. That's FSRN's Alpha Jallo in Dakar, Senegal.